I can't even begin to explain how frustrating it is to find yourself repeat procrastinating when you're trying to script a video about procrastination. It doesn't get much more annoying than that. However, I did eventually script this video and as I did, it got easier along the way as I was learning new methods as proven by science to help me control my procrastination and give me a kick up my procrastinator's in 2002, psychologists set up a study to help MIT students stop procrastinating. They split the students into three different groups and all of them had to complete three papers by the end of term. Group one were told it's entirely up to you when you hand the papers in, you work it out yourselves. Group two were given rigid structured deadlines that were evenly spaced out throughout the term. Group three had to have deadlines but they were allowed to set them themselves. So. What do you think happened? The first group who were given complete freedom slacked off. The third group who assigned their own deadlines did a little bit better, but nothing impressive. However, the second group who were given the structured deadlines aced it. The research is pretty clear. Even if you're an MIT student, you're going to do better with deadlines, especially if someone else sets them for you. My solution is to make lots of little mini deadlines before that end goal. But the deadlines alone aren't enough. I need somebody to tell me what to do so I behave like the students in group two. So I try to make myself accountable. I tweeted out and I said that I would get this video up and because I don't wanna let you down and you guys will let me know if I do, I'm gonna do it. So try and make yourself accountable for your study. We have to put obstacles in the way of our distractions to give ourselves the best chance. So here's what I do. First, I will flight mode my phone and put it in another room. Then I might turn notifications off on my computer. If I'm using Wi-Fi, then I'll get all of my internet research done first and then I'll turn my Wi-Fi off so I'm not tempted. And if you're really struggling, you can download apps that will blacklist certain websites to stop you going on them. I tried self-control and I couldn't go on any social media sites for about five hours and it worked so you might want to give it a try. The Pomodoro technique is a tried and tested method that really does work. The idea is that you set a timer for 25 minutes and you work solidly and then when the time is up you give yourself a little reward a couple of minutes break before resetting the timer and going again for another 25 minutes. Cutting your workflow up into small chunks makes everything feel that little bit more achievable. I tried this technique and I found it really worked. I just used Google's countdown as my timer and was rewarding myself with yummy hot drinks and snacks. But actually by the end of the afternoon, I found that even though my time was up and I could go to the kitchen for a break, more often than not, I would quickly run back because I wanted to finish my train of thought. So it really was helping to improve my concentration over time. The Pomodoro technique is great for procrastinators, but also time management. And I've got a bunch more time management tips for you in the next episode. Now, I know this is going to sound like the most annoying and obvious thing in the world, but just getting started, even if that's sitting down, opening a textbook and doing notes on even half a page is really going to help. And that's because of something called the Zeganic effect. In one study, participants were asked to solve a really tricky puzzle. However, they were interrupted just before they had the chance to finish it and were told they could stop. Despite this, nearly 90% carried on to finish the puzzle anyway, even though they didn't have to. This tells us that one weapon against procrastination is quite literally just starting. Think of it as giving yourself a little cliffhanger. It's a bit like a till next time at the end of a Netflix show. It's a reminder of all the awesome work you're going to do and you're more likely to return to it. But now enough procrastinating. Stop, go and get back to it, guys. If you're really struggling, you can go and watch my last Science of Study video, but that's it. Subscribe, stay curious, and I'll see you soon. Bye.